Phyllis Wheatley was born around 1753 in Senegal or Gambia, West Africa, and was kidnapped around the age of eight to be sold into slavery. She was taken to Boston and was purchased by John Wheatley to be a servant to his wife. Phyllis' life was different from the lives of other slaves as the Wheatleys wanted Phyllis to get an education. During this time, African Americans were intimidated and discouraged from learning to read or write. Phyllis had an intelligence that was hard to ignore. So the Wheatleys provided her with lessons in theology, English, Latin, and Greek. Phyllis Wheatley was the first African American and one of the first women to publish a book of poetry. In 1773, Phyllis' first and only book, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral, was published. Phyllis and her work gained national prominence. Because of her support of America's fight for independence, she wrote several poems in honor of future president George Washington, who was then the commander of the Continental Army. Phyllis continued to write, but due to the Revolutionary War, people were less excited about her poems. She was unsuccessful finding support to publish a second volume of poetry. Phyllis Wheatley died in her early 30s in 1784 in Boston, Massachusetts. My name is Deshana Yamini, and this has been today's Black History Moment.